Welcome back to Tamara's Travels. Since tonight is Halloween, I thought it would be appropriate to share with you guys my own personal horror story. To be honest with you guys, my travels were amazing. It wasn't until I got back to the US and I went to get my Kindle. I put one of my cards on my camera in my Kindle because I was hoping to upload some of the footage online as a backup. And I realized when I got off the plane that the card somehow had popped out of the Kindle and broken off. I couldn't find the other half of the CF card. I took the CF card, I was panicking. This is the footage from half of Iceland, entire UK, that's England, Ireland, and Scotland. All on this one CF card and most of France. I am completely devastated. I take this broken CF card, I take it to specialists, I take it to my friends who work in tech, and they said, I'm so sorry, but there's nothing we can do, especially since you can't find the missing half. So, I don't want to cry again, but um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of footage. Luckily, I was shooting on two cameras. I was shooting on my um, 4K action cam, which I'll link in the description below if you guys are interested. That's what most of this footage is on. And then I also have a little power shot that I was shooting a little bit of footage on, not much. So I do have the footage from the power shot, which is what I'm going to show you guys. This is my last video in Iceland. It is the last of my footage um, on this car that got destroyed. My travel tip for you guys today is to back up your footage. I was trying to do that, but I, I didn't want to carry around the laptop. I didn't want to carry around my hard drive. So I just was like, oh, I'll just keep the cards and just upload them. And it didn't work out. I think it would have been fine if I had kept the card inside like a special case that's waterproof or inside the camera. But I don't even know. It just, it's, it's not like, I did something particularly wrong. It was a freak accident. I've never seen that happen before. I'm just so upset because I had such amazing footage to show you guys. Um, I am going to show you some... I am going to edit together some of my videos for Ireland, Scotland, and England, and France. But there's probably maybe only one or two videos per country, unfortunately, because I lost most of the footage. But hey, it gives me a good excuse to go travel back to those countries. So it's all good. Hey guys, so I'm still here in Iceland and today I just want to do an episode on all the amazing landscapes you'll see when you go to Iceland. They're just so stunning. Be sure to subscribe and click the little thumbs up button. So, welcome back to Tamara's Travels. Uh, like I just said, I am still here in Reykjavik, Iceland. Here I am flying into Iceland and I just want to say how amazing Iceland has been. I highly recommend it, even though it's really expensive, it's one of the most expensive places I've been to so far, it still hits the top five charts and that's saying a lot because I've been to over 38 different countries now. Especially if you're an outdoors person and you just love the open space and the clean air. So I have no idea how to pronounce the hike I went on, so here it is. I mean, just look at all the steam coming off the mountain. I, I, I can't explain to you guys just the feeling of being there. So you do about, it took me about, I think, an hour and a half to get up there. And you see all these, like, smoke, and I think they're geysers, um, heat coming off the mountain. And it's just like, the smoke is so thick and it smells like sulfur. I don't know if you've ever smelled sulfur before, but it has like this eggy smell to it. It's really weird. And it like steamed up my glasses so I couldn't see, so I had to take my glasses off. And, and this is just covering the mountainside. So when you're in Iceland, you do have to be careful. You can't just go hiking anywhere. Make sure you're on an actual trail because Iceland has a lot of dangerous things that most people aren't used to. Like you can't just go swimming in any river because the river might be too hot and you might burn yourself. One thing I do want to note though is that when you do want to hike, the buses in Iceland are not very uh, frequent. I think it only goes here two or three times a day. So uh, I had to take a bus there and then I ended up hitchhiking on the way back with another girl I met. I don't normally recommend hitchhiking, uh, not even in places like the US that are pretty safe. 
just because there are a lot of creepy people. But in such a small island with only 250,000 people, everybody knows everybody. Uh, so if anything were to happen, it would get around and that person would basically uh, not be able to live there anymore because it's such a small town, people can't get away with um, crime. It is so easy to stick your thumb up in the air and not within the city center, but once you get out of the center and it took maybe the third car stop. So it was super simple because everybody's going back to Rikavik. And just kind of give you an idea about Rikavik, they used to have two police stations in the entire country, uh, but one got closed down because there's such little crime. So there's only one police station in San Rikavik. That being said, obviously if you do decide to hitchhike, use caution. Uh, just because someone pulls over does not mean you have to get in their car. Guys, look at the mountains. I love all the steam coming off. It looks so thick. It looks like somebody has one of those like fake Halloween smoke things that they put at parties, you know? So you can see it's actually boiling water. You see how it's like crazy? That's how hot it is. It, 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 I, it took me a little bit long to get up this hill because you can see all the rivers. I didn't even film half the um, waterfalls I saw along the way. It, it was just, every direction you look is perfectly like photogenic. Like it, it looks like it comes out of National Geographic in every single direction. So here it is, when you get to the top, there's this amazing river. It's naturally heated. I think it's heated by geysers. But in any case, the cool part is that the higher you water it gets. So if it gets too hot, some of this actually will way too hot for me personally, then you can go further down and it's naturally cooled by the ice caps that are melting. And so the further you go down, you see these like cool streams of ice cold water flowing into this really hot. And that's why it's actually safe to, um, to soak in this stream in this area because the ice caps are melting. Uh, but yeah, as you went up further, it just got way too hot for me. Some Icelandic people were in there, but uh, no thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful Halloween, stay safe, and I will see you next time.